You are more likely to be in a plane crash than you are to be a missionary reaching unreached people in our world. Does that surprise you? Well, isn't it true that when we think about the world around us, if we think about it at all, we just assume that among all of the organizations and all of the Christians in the world, that there are enough people involved in gospel outreach to reach all the lost people in our world, don't we just assume that there's enough people doing this work? Well, we either assume that, or more likely, we don't think about it at all. And we certainly aren't thinking about the obligation that's been placed on every believer, people like you and me, to be a part of this great gospel outreach to reach the world around us. Across the continent of Asia, there are 2.25 billion people who don't know Jesus, never heard of him, couldn't tell you the first thing about the gospel or about church or the first thing about who Jesus is. That's a pretty colossal amount of people, isn't it? And maybe you're expecting a big number, after all, Asia is a really big place, but then you'd probably expect that for a big place like Asia, with a lot of unreached people, that there'd be a lot of people working to reach all those people. And I suppose in one sense there is, but there's not enough. Remember, you are more likely to be in a plane crash than to be someone working to reach unreached people. Not to freak you out, but that means that there's a higher chance that on your next flight, whenever that will be, that your next flight will crash, rather be you on your way to help meet the challenge of unreached people. I'm recording this video after nearly a year of pandemic imposed restrictions. The idea of being on a long haul flight to Asia, crashing or not, feels very, very strange. International travel has become incredibly difficult. For much of the year, we've been stuck in our homes. Our worlds have shrunk to the size of the screens that we have in front of us as we video call others or stream events that we could meet be there for in person. But I wonder if among all the changes on our doorsteps, have we forgotten about the world out there? With the possibility of seeing the world in person removed, and so much disruption to our own lives, have we stopped thinking altogether about our purpose as believers? We have been created and called to represent God on earth, specifically to introduce the world to his son, Jesus Christ. Our worlds have never been smaller, but God's heart for the nations is as big as it ever has been, and you and I have a part to play. That's why History Makers exists. History Makers is Asia Link for youth and young adults. It exists to do three things. We'll inform you, ensuring that you know what's happening in our world and how you can contribute to what God's doing in Asia. We'll inspire you by sharing stories of God's goodness and of incredible men and women doing amazing things, making Christ's name known among unreached people. And thirdly, we'll immerse you in short-term mission in Asia through opportunities to go on teams that is, when a pandemic doesn't prevent us from doing so. Get involved, be a part of what God is doing in Asia, and help make history.